thousand ones and perhaps ever since you encountered the narcissist they knew that you are so powerful they knew you are a supreme being that overshadows them in every single way they tricked us and led us to believe they're like us and the reason they done this was out of fear they mirrored us copied us pretended to be like us made out their intentions for the world are the same as ours and they coincide but really they're scum and they live in fear and they're afraid of you and they've always been afraid of you all of the lies they told to keep up their story have you ever told a lie before? it's a nightmare isn't it? trying to keep up with a track record see we're not perfect we've all told lies in our life but you know one lie leads to another leads to another these lot are bound by lies and they always had in the pit of their stomach anxiety and fear that you'd find out what they really are they always had this in, in the pit of their stomach you know knots in their stomach that you'll discover how much of a scum they actually are but they know you're connected to the source they know you're connected to the most high they know you're connected to the universe they knew you were chosen the more they got to know you the more they saw how uh, bright your light shined the more they got to know you they could tell you had such a powerful aura when they just first met you you know you might have just spoken a few words but those few words carried so much weight and so much impact they thought oh my god i got myself a good in here so then they pretended and they sneaked about and this is why i say they always say we walk on eggshells no they walk on eggshells the narcissist walks on eggshells they're tiptoeing around us the for the, for the duration of the relationship you know they they they're tiptoeing around they feared you they feared what you are you're a powerful being of light that's connected to the infinite source that's connected to the divine creator of the world you're chosen they're chosen from the devil though and they never wanted you to find this out you know i remember times when the narcissist would tell me something that happened in their past and i'd believe it but i'd always have this gut feeling i always did have a gut feeling during during the relationship like this person is a liar you know but it was never enough it was never enough to go by i was a bit naive it was never enough to go by but i know from personal experience that once the narcissist finds out you know what they are they run scared the narcissist in my life ran scared ran completely tried to disappear tried to hold my belongings as well and try and disappear and it was all because i found them out about one lie and i'm not saying i was going to attack them or hurt them or harm them they're just scared of confronting a chosen one because they know we're truth they know we are the truth part of me we walk in the truth they know this about us they've always known it and they're afraid they they they're afraid they've always had as i said in the pit of their stomach the anxiety and fear and dread that you'll find out what they really are but you're a complete human being you're complete we we we're made up of a duality we all have 
good and a bad side, or good and evil. But the narcissist caters more towards their evil side. But they hide that, especially the covert ones. They hide this. They try to mix in and blend in with us like we're like-minded individuals. Try to rub shoulders with us and make out that we're the same. and You know, that we, we have the same intentions for the world and we've got the same belief system. It's all lies. It's all lies. And the further and further along they got into this lie, the more and more scared they got. The more and more scared. Because they were just waiting for the day that they get exposed. And it, there's nothing worse for a narcissist than being exposed for a dusty weirdo that they are. There's nothing worse. And... Sometimes when you unmask them, not, not all the time, but sometimes when you see the mask slip and you see the true colours and you reveal, they, they reveal, well they don't reveal, but God reveals who they are, or the universe reveals who they are. They just go full out psycho mode, you know. That's how it's gone with me, with, with the narcissist, with, with my old narcissist. Um, they just gone full out psycho mode. Full out psycho lies, just 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 chatting absolute rubbish, like, oh god, some of the some of the messages I got, they just they they just wanted to speak to me, and they're just messaging some rubbish, like stuff that actually makes no sense, and this is what I'm saying, like, you know, even their lies back when they told lies, like if you hold those lies compared to what they're talking now. Like, that would seem like truth. That's how bad their lives have got. And it's like, they just can't let up. They just can't let up. They'll just keep going. And But just, they, they won't come around me. They don't want to come around me. Ever. They know that I'll play no part in it. That's why they're trying to suss me out from a distance. And that's what they'll try to do with you guys. They'll try and suss you out from a distance. Oh, are they willing to take it? Are they, are they willing to accept that I've done this wrong to them? Are they willing to forgive me? Please, people, I know we're kind. I know we're courteous. I know we're loving. I know we're connected to the infinite source of intelligence. And yes, we're very merciful creatures. But we can't show no forgiveness or mercy to the narcissist. We can't show them nothing like that at all. Okay? We need to leave them scared. You know, whether they've relocated, changed their phone number, done whatever they've done, leave them running scared because they're running scared right now. They won't want to come back around your presence. You know, they've done so much wrong to us and now they know. I made a video earlier on, if you want to check that out, about um, how your healing journey drives the narcissist crazy. And that's because they know deep down in the core of them as well. The further and more time that we're alone, the longer that we're alone, the more we heal, the more aware we get, the more awake we get. They knew we was in a deep sleep. They had us under a spell when they were with us. You know, I'm not saying witchcraft as such, but they did have us under a spell. They had us in a deep sleep, right? And they know that to to maintain us in that deep sleep, they have to be around us. So that's why they know that once we get an inkling to their liars and we see through exactly what they are, they run scared and they know that we're getting more and more awake as days pass by. They 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 may not know that you're looking at this this, this type of content or other content alike, but you're waking yourself up through this. You're waking yourself up generally, like, even if you wasn't even watching the content, you, like, you're generally waking up to the abuse. They're running scared. They don't want to be around you. They're scared. They're scared little creatures. So let them be scared. You know, they're afraid. They were always afraid of you. As I said at the beginning of the video, they were afraid when they first met you. 
That's why they try to mirror you, match what you're doing, connect like with what you're doing, talk like how you talk, so say that their goals are like your goals. You know what I'm saying? This is what they do. They're weirdos. They're social chameleons. They just shift and change and contort to whatever position the other person is doing. But they don't do that for anybody. They do that for special people. And that's because you're chosen. It's because you're an empath. They won't just do that for anybody. They won't, you know what I'm saying? When, when they meet another narcissist or psychopath, they won't find themselves doing them, them kinds of behaviours. Because they'll see through... Once they, once you know the dust settles a little bit, they'll they'll start to see through. Hold on, this person's toxic as hell, you know, and that's why they, after us, they go from supplier to supplier to supplier. So just let them wander, man. Leave them running scared. Leave them running scared. They they they're very concerned, you know, and they were always concerned. Trust me, they were always worried about this day, and this day has come, and we're here now, and you know what they are. So please, people, don't let this person back in your life. If you hear any kind of sob story, any kind of tears, don't believe it. Don't let them back in. You can do so much better. There's sunshine on the horizon. You know, they're counterfeit soulmates. You, you, you deserve better and you deserve way more. And we all deserve way more collectively. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you would like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I have the secondary channel, the spiritual channel. If you want to check that out, the link for that channel is also in the description box. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.